what's the true cost of production of oil in different countries? Oh, that that is a uh, that varies from from various jurisdiction to, to jurisdiction. I would say, and of course, there there is a there is a time difference there. If you look at uh, if you look at the U.S., if you look at 2012, 2013, 2014, uh, U.S. production costs were a lot higher than they were in in a short space of two years. Now, that we, as we speak in 2016, so I would say what would have been uh, you know the the cost of a marginal barrel in the states would have been about sixty dollars. It's now down to thirty. That's the kind of uh, progress that they've made in made in the states. You look at the North Sea. I would say you probably need at least seventy dollars to so, uh, to make it profitable because I, I still think the North Sea is in a whole lot of uh, whole lot of trouble. With Canada, the Canadian benchmark, the Western Canadian Select, it always trails the the U.S. benchmark, which is the West Texas Intermediate, to a to sort of a, like a near ten or fifteen dollar uh, dollar discount. So with Canada, it's it's kind of tricky. If you're talking about unconventional Canadian players, the tar sands. Ideally for them, they'd at least like a $50 oil price, but whereas some of the, the developed Canadian players, they could make do with 30. What's the price needed for gas and oil to support the budgets of the governments? Well, I'll give an example. For instance, Venezuela would like a $100 barrel price. It's not going to happen right. anytime soon. Um, but I suppose the Saudis can keep going at, the Saudis can keep going at $10. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's not a, yeah. I, there's no way I can quantify this into an, 